Okay, so why are we splicing rope? We're splicing rope to retain as much of the brake load as possible. The reason we retain more of the brake load is because ropes do not like having 90 degree bends in them. So when we put a bowl in, in a piece of polyester double braid, if you look at the knot, you can see the angles that the rope has to go through. And this will weaken a piece of double braid by up to 50%. When we splice it, conversely, uh, the load is being sent all the way up and through. The finger trap is holding it together. We don't have any of these huge bends. So if you put a splice in a piece of double braid, you're going to retain 80 to 90% of the brake load. Conversely, if you look at Dyneema, Dyneema is a very long lay fiber. When you put a bowl in in a piece of Dyneema, the effect is even more magnified. The Dyneema, you can see here, is, is all crumpled up. Um, and when the brake load comes up, it will go where these 90 degree bends are because the fiber just does not like going around those angles. So if you put a bowl in in a piece of Dyneema, you're going to only retain about 30% of the brake load. So you're gonna lose 70% of the strength of the rope, which for a, for a high load rope is pretty critical. When you look at the splice in the Dyneema, you can see here, there aren't any 90 degree turns. The rope isn't being compressed anywhere uh, and the load is being carried all the way up and through. And that's why we're splicing rope.